Hello, friends. Before we dive into our next story, I just wanted to share amazing news. After our story last week, I've got six thousand more subscribers on my channel. That's a wow! Thank you so much for your support. My next story suggests how the hare became the Easter Bunny. Let's have fun reading it. Two thousand years ago, there lived a hare in the forest who was always the first to wake up. Even earlier than the rooster in a village on the edge of the forest, he never considered others, and would go to the forest's huge meeting stump to jump, stamp, and sing on it. The animals were not very happy about it. Would you please keep it down? You're waking up my little ones too early. They will be too tired in the afternoon again. The mother squirrel would say when he would make noises. Ha! Wakey, wakey, my little neighbors. If I'm up, so it's just the right time for you as well. How rude! The squirrel whispered to herself before returning to her hollow. This was Hare's response to all the animals who would ask him to be quiet. The loudest performances of the hare happened on the stump, which he proudly used as his stage. Right next to the stump lived a huge brown bear who loved to sleep more than the others, but had the most trouble with the annoying hare. One morning, the bear woke up angry and went straight to the hare. Hello, you little noisy fellow. How many times have we all asked you to respect others and keep it down for just a bit longer? You wake up earlier than the birds, and this isn't a problem on its own. But why do you make such a racket and all these stomping noises and sing on purpose to wake all the poor forest folks around? Ha! Replied the hare with his chin up. I do what I want, and you're too slow to threaten me. Silly bear, come on and catch me first, you lazy pile of brown. <laughs> the bear, forgetting all his words, was incredibly angry and surprised at the same time. He tried to catch the hare, but the little prankster was too fast for the mighty bear. For the next. Two weeks, the hare continued misbehaving in the same way, upsetting all the forest animals. But nobody seemed to be able to do anything about it. The hare was too fast, hurling insults at everyone. Ha ha ha! But even faster, at running away if someone challenged him. One day, the bear came up with a plan. Hmm. <gasps> He placed a puddle of sticky honey on the stump where the hare was stamping in the morning, and waited. The hare, as usual, was bothering and teasing everyone around on Sunday morning. He jumped onto the clearing where the stump was for his loudest morning dance, and plop, he was stuck onto the honey. Whoops! Who is the silliest creature in the? In the world, messing around on the stump, he cried out very loudly without thinking. Yuck! The next second, the huge head of the bear popped up behind the stump. Hmm? It was me," replied the bear with his deep and loud voice, which sent waves through the hare's fur and bones, making him freeze as if he were made out of. Crispy winter icicles. Well, I am the silliest and slowest creature, as you say. Now it's my turn to talk to you, my little friend. He took the hair by his ears. No, bear, please. This was just a min- misunderstanding. I swear. <laughs> I know you're the strongest guy in the forest, and now I see very clearly I was wrong. The hare timidly changed his voice to a whisper, his legs shaking in fear. <laughs> I promise to be quiet. I promise to do anything you want. Just please help me get off the stump before the wolves arrive. Okay, you little rascal," replied the bear. "As we all know, you have so much energy and wake up so early. So from now on, you'll be of good use and bring happiness." Be quiet, and once a year on this day, your duty will be to hide chocolate eggs 
for all the kids around. So when they wake up, the surprises are already there, waiting for them. Remember, each year on Easter. Yes, yes, my mighty friend. Will do, will do. Please pull me out of this sticky trap. The bear pulled the hair, holding his ears. They stretched and became even longer. Oh! <gasps> Will do, will do. He whispered to the bear and thanked him. He now quietly ran away without making noises. And since then, he didn't bother the animals, but lived among them with respect and friendship. And once a year, he would come to good little kids to hide his little presents, making their nights filled with sweet dreams and decorating their Easter morning with happy surprises. Hope you enjoyed the story. By the way, visit my website for more learning activities and free coloring pages. See you in the next one.